The team the entire hockey world has been talking about for the last couple days is the Ottawa Senators. And in that sense, Eugene Melnick is kind of a genius. The Sens owner emotionally came out and said some stuff and things, namely, nobody is safe. And a lot of people were doing some finger wagging at him, including myself. Here's why. One of the things he referenced was Dave Cameron's decision to start Matt O'Connor in the home opener. Yes, the home opener in October. And another one I heard was he wants the team to start practicing shootouts more. Just say Dave Cameron's fired. Like, why are we wasting time here with semantics? But he said he was very sure to point out, this is Brian Murray's decision. He's the GM after all. Eugene. C come on. Look, this is my opinion, but but I'm just the owner of the team. He's fired. Dave Cameron's fired. Now, he hasn't been yet, and if he doesn't get fired, I'll eat those words, but sure sounds like he's getting fired, doesn't it? And I was ripping on the Senators for this, but I've had a couple days to think about it now. On one hand, he didn't really make any bad points there. For example, why on earth did they start Matt O'Connor in that game? If you're not that good at the shootouts, well, maybe you should practice the shootouts. And he said, oh, you can't just throw money at a team and they'll be good. And I started yelling about how the Sens are one of the cheapest teams in the league. And they are, but there are some very successful teams spending about the same amount or less. The Anaheim Ducks for one. Although most of the teams spending less than the Senators are doing pretty bad. But let's give him that point just because. I never like when an owner gets involved. Owners control the money and ultimately that's what makes this blue and green planet go around. However, that doesn't necessarily mean they have any idea how to make their team any better. Ownership getting involved or not getting involved was something Leafs fans screamed about for years. When Canucks fans aren't screaming about Jim Benning, they're screaming about the Aquilinis. You look throughout the years, you look all throughout the league, there have been incidences of owners getting involved, and rarely does it ever work out well. And everyone had Eugene Melnick on after his initial press conference, including Sportsnet, so that he could clarify his comments. And that was great of him to do that, and I'm sure it was must-see TV, must-listen-to radio. It's Eugene Melnick, and he just made the news of the day, and here he is talking again. And good on him for doing that, but you don't let him off the hook for what he said in the first place. And the impression I got, this is just me, maybe you saw it differently, was this is a guy who's a little hot under the collar. He's angry that the team is doing so poorly. And I mean, any owner should be, really. But when you think about it, isn't it hilarious that he's saying this stuff this year instead of last? About 13 months ago or so, around February last year, the Senators were in the Connor McDavid sweepstakes. They were one of the bottom 10 teams in the league. I think they had a brief stint as one of the bottom five. And with all their goalies hurt and Andrew Hammond as their starting goaltender, it looked like they were going to be legitimate contenders for the first overall pick. And then Andrew Hammond threw up a 941 save percentage and went 21 and 2. So were it not for last year's Disney movie miracle, would we have been having this conversation last year in Ottawa? This year? No Disney. Nope. So what do you think is the future for the Ottawa Senators? I mean, I look at the FNUF trade as a Leafs fan, and I loved it as a Leafs fan, but I mean, it made a lot of sense for the Senators too. I look at the parts in this team, and Eric Carlson is one of the best defenders of this generation. He's got 75 points in 75 games, this is his third 70 plus point season and he has a chance to make it his first 80 plus point season. Reminder, Defender. And they got some great young pieces there. Cody Ceci is emerging on the back end. Mark Stone has emerged as their best forward. Mike Hoffman is a goal scoring machine. But the thing with young players is they don't stay young forever and you gotta pay them at some point and are the Sens willing to do that? And is Eugene Melnick willing to let the people who handle hockey handle hockey. And when you say heads will roll, I mean, well, teams that do poorly, yeah, heads should roll sometimes. But you don't fire your way to the top, you hire your way to the top. Identify problems in your organization and fire them, fine, but you gotta replace those people. Who are you gonna replace them with? I will give Melnick props for one thing, though. We're finally having a discussion about the Senators that doesn't result in yelling about Drew Doughty. 